everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Since there are only two days left until fall, and I have always wanted to put lights on my shed ever since Bill put the solar panels out here. He put those out, of course, for the pool that we broke. <laughs> but now, we went today and we bought some lights for Halloween. We are gonna go in, open them up, get them up here. Let's go. We bought two boxes of 70 mini lights each. We also bought this really cool projection whirl of motion and it puts these really cute skeletons up. We have our two strands of lights connected and plugged in here and we have our battery attached. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Look how beautiful they are. All right, I have to go change so I can get up on the roof and clean the solar panels. Let's go. I wonder how people that have solar panels like up on their big roof ever keep them clean. I wonder that too. I wonder how much electricity they start to lose just because they're dirty. Well, that side I kind of keep a little cleaner because I hose them off with the hose. <laughs> when you look at the other side, that's going to be a different story. <laughs> They're not so good. Let's see how they clean up, though. Oh, they clean up real nice. All right, so we've started hanging the lights here. Put that under there so it would uh, stay out of the rain if, if we happen to ever get any rain. As the sun goes behind our hill for another day, the light challenge continues. It'll be dark enough to see them when we get done and we get the solar hooked up and everything. Yeah. Alright, we're already rounding. You want me to hand you this? Yes, please. Since you put the ladder way over there. You're going to need one in between there. You're going to move the ladder back. Right here. And then one in there to hold it in there. Yeah. So it's not dirty. Because I thought we could do right to the middle, but not going to work. We're coming around the last side. Yes. It's looking good, looking good. We're gonna be a little bit short, but that's okay. Lisa's a little bit short, she's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. All right, we'll have to put the battery and the inverter and hook it up to the solar. Yes. Done project. Thank you for this, honey. I've really wanted this and you, I appreciate you. You're doing all the work. Yeah, but you had the idea to buy them and took me on my lunch today to buy these. And that was really thoughtful. And I We're just going to need to get a little timer that'll turn it off. Like turn it on like when it gets dark. And then turn it off. I think the battery will run these for about four or five hours. And then it'll charge up the next day for the next night. And it'll be zero maintenance. This really means a lot to me. That is fun, honey. Oh, you almost made it perfect. Yeah, look. <laughs> Lisa needs a shower. Hey! <laughs> On the camera, she's getting the camera wet. <laughs> well, we were one foot short to the end. We need to trim that trim that bush off of that too. But that's fine. We would have had plenty if we didn't, if we went straight across and not up the peak there. All right, here's the rest of the junk to make this happen. This will just take a minute to hook this up to the solar in there and we'll be done. Okay, it's getting dark, but we've got the solar coming in from the roof. All this is extra wire for the solar. And they're coming into this hub right here. 
this side out of the hub to the charge controller right here. It's actually getting a little bit of charge still, even though the sun's gone behind that mountain. Charge controller is connected to the battery. The battery comes out as connected to the inverter. Turn on the power to the inverter. And we should have lights when we walk out of here. Let's see. If we did everything right, <laughs> go ahead and shut the doors. It's done. So I just need a little timer to hook into the um, battery there. So it'll charge during the day and then the lights will automatically come on at night for a few hours and then I love it. They will go off automatically and you shouldn't have to touch it. It should just run and run and run. It's so beautiful. Because these lights are only a few watts. All right, it's not all the way dark yet this evening, but that should give you an idea of what the skeletons look like dancing. It's pretty cool. Lighted shed project complete. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Thank you so much to my husband again for buying the lights to put up on my shed for me like I wanted. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button for his kindness and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.